Hey, I'm Gary from The Cribs and you're watching Gig Slurs. It's, okay. it's I don't a, mind. <laughs> I've thought about this one a lot because like the super brute one's tough. The Dave Grohl on drums, you know, you can always say that one with pretty much, you know, pretty solid conviction. Uh, no, I, I've tried to go on one trumpet, but I can't play a few notes on the bass. Oh yeah, I think just, everyone uh, can play a few notes on the Definitely, I mean, Maybe, maybe like, uh, I don't know, Lou Barlow maybe, but that then that would just be weird because like I'm sort of comprising a band of you know, I, I don't want to get too, I, some, some kind of pop, pop singer, I don't know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it would be terrible. Really and what about your Desert Island album? Um, it's probably Tiger Town Pictures by Comic Gain, because it's my favourite record and like style, uh, not styles, but a lot of different kind of emotions on the record, so, and it's quite a long record too, so. That, that, that one for sure. That's the one I couldn't live without. And what about the song you wish you'd written? Oh, yeah, there's a few of these. Waterloo Sunset's always one of them. It's so simple. It's really simple and really pretty. I like, I like, I like simple songs that just kind of, uh, that anyone, it sounds like you could have written, you know, because it's not like got like crazy guitar solos. So I'm not like, anything really elaborate but then you just that therein is the genius is the fact that like you feel like you could do it but it's just it's from somewhere intangible you know mm -hmm. something like that and the most rock star thing you and the band have ever done um we try and avoid that kind of stuff as much as what we can um I guess. Even if you've got upset, there was red M and M's in your rider when you asked for blue. I mean, sometimes I get upset it. about stuff on the road. Shipper probably knows better than anyone. He can probably, <laughs> he could probably answer this easy. I've had a policy ever since the band started of not playing on cars. Does he do about six songs last night? <laughs> yeah, I just, I mean, it's just not really my thing because I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think I need to schedule in a period of time where I have to go on stage and then get the ego boost of people cheering for yeah. me to come back. Like, we've always been against it for that reason. It seems, if, it's, if, it's, if it's already programmed into the set, that seems like very presumptuous for one thing. And just a little contrived. Um, we've done one once, we did it in Los Angeles at the Troubadour, but it's only because like, it kind of felt like we had to do, and I think yeah. that that's what an encore should be, you know? But it was a disaster, we did it, and it was terrible, because our yeah. equipment was all fucked up and out of tune at that point. Finally, um, we like to ask, tell us your best joke. Oh, God. And it can be rude, like, I'm okay with that. Oh, God, I, I don't know any, I don't think I know any jokes, really. Um, Something funny. <laughs> This is exposing me as being a real dull art. But, <laughs> but I'm not dull, but I just can't just, remember jokes. That's okay, you can just say that. Yeah, I'm not dull, but I just don't remember jokes. <laughs> that's my best joke. I just I can't think of one. I've never, I've never really been very good at telling. I'm like my mother, my mother's really bad at telling jokes. She gets confused and like, I says the punchline punch before she's supposed that's to do. actually my issue. And I'm just like my mum, and I have to really take after her in that way. <laughs> Excellent, well thank you so much. All right, thanks. Um